Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin Hindi laging nandyan dapat mong harapin Kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ang wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipakita Ipadama ang pusong may malasakit Dito sa Fernandino Ating harapin ng walang takot Sasamahan ka ni Fernan At dino ang bagong barkada mo Fernandino Tint TV Pasko po na, di po. Hanggang kailan pa kaya ang nararanasan natin sa pandemyang ito? Ano nang gagawin natin? Di ko na alam ang iisipin ko ko. Huwag ka nang mangambanan. Dahil ayon sa DOH ay pababa na ang bilang ng mga kaso ng mga nagkakasakit dahil sa COVID-19. Gandang balita niyan. Sana magtuloy-tuloy na. Kaya nga, para lalo nating malaman ng ating gagawin, atin na munang tungkaya ng episode niyong araw tungkol sa predicting outcomes. Tara! Let's watch and learn! A pleasant morning, Fernandino teens! How are you today? Let me guess. Oh, you are having a good time with your lessons. Well, that is good. Despite the pandemic, you still manage to love learning. And that's awesome. Do you want to enjoy it more? Let us find out how interesting the topic we are going to discuss today. The brain learns how to anticipate future occurrences. Future occurrences refer to time, events, or situations that are yet to come. It is the period that will come after the present or the things that will happen then. An occurrence is an instance of something or time when something happens. How to anticipate future occurrence is what we will discuss in this episode entitled Reflect and Predict Outcomes Are Exciting Are you ready to discover how well minds work when confronted with a situation? Well, Fernandino teens, 
Now is your chance to test your capability on how to anticipate before something will occur. I am Mom Ivy Dizon, your teacher lecturer for today's episode on Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. Be with me to enter the worthwhile East Asian stories with another interesting episode that will make you wiser than before. Are you ready? To begin with, allow me to give you the objectives for today's lesson. First, predict the gist material viewed days in the title, pictures, and excerpts from the East Asian context. Second, use the steps given on how to predict. Lastly, identify the cause and effect within a text by making predictions. Let us begin by doing this activity. You will need to predict what is going to happen in the illustrated scenario. You will be given three seconds to answer. Key in your answer in the comment box below. Ready? Let us start. But Zorig is crossing along the street. Suddenly, a car comes speeding by. What do you think will happen? Great answer! But Zorig might be accidentally hit by the car. Any other answer? Very good! He might have run fast enough before the car hits him. Whoa! Another answer just popped in. The car suddenly stopped, causing it to turn around several times but not hitting Batsori. I simply love how you gave your answers. All of them are right. Let us proceed to the next. Yun A is caught in the rain. She has no umbrella. What do you think happened next? I found a very short but correct answer, and that is, she got wet. Great. Any other answer? She sang and danced in the rain. Very good. I think I love to do that too. Do you want to do that as well? You can do so. But you have to be careful since you might get sick and your parents would worry much. Let us try the next one. Esmeralda played Mobile Legends overnight. The following day, she has a quiz. What might happen? Oh, I see a lot of answers being given. Let us have them one by one. One said, Esmeralda cheated to pass the exam. Another said, Esmeralda did not go to school because of headache. Someone wrote, Esmeralda bribed her classmate to answer for her. More and more answers are being given. Your predictions are correct. But let me remind you, cheating during an exam is not good. Likewise, playing mobile games in the phone overnight might damage your eyes. So you have to be careful and do not abuse them. We only just started, but I found your potential in predicting outcomes to be very good. It seems we will both enjoy at the same time, learn a lot today. More of predicting outcomes will be discussed as Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 returns. Stay tuned! Ang Schools Division Office City of San Fernando, Pampanga ay kaisa ng Department of Education sa pagsasagawa ng mga proyekto at programa na tumutugon sa mga pangangailangan ng mga mag-aaral. Inilunsad ang Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors upang magbigay ng educational at psychological assistance sa mga mag-aaral, magulang at stakeholders ng division. 
Kaya, kung may nais kayong itanong tungkol sa pag-aaral, maaaring magpadala ng mensahe sa Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors Facebook page o tumawag sa mga numero na makikita sa ibaba ng inyong screen tuwing lunes hanggang biyernes sa ganap na alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 6 ng gabi. Maaari rin kayong sumangguni sa ating guidance counselors na nagbibigay ng guidance and counseling services. Lahat ng inyong ibabahagi ay mananatiling confidential. Ang nasabing programa ay nagsisilbing daan upang malaman ang feedbacks ng stakeholders para matulungan ang ating division na mapagbuti pa ang mga sumusunod na programa. Ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Tumawag na sa aming mga numero o bumisita na sa aming Facebook page at magpadala ng inyong mga katanungan. Fernandino Teens TV Welcome back, Fernandino Teens! Let us continue our lesson on predicting outcomes. This time, you will learn to predict the gist or main point of the material viewed based on titles, pictures, and excerpts. Predicting is a basic reading skill that requires higher level of thinking skills to anticipate what you are about to read. It is a strategy in which readers use to inform from one text which includes the titles, headings, and pictures, diagrams, and their own personal experiences to envision what they are about to read or what comes next. Predicting is important because it improves reading comprehension. Students can make predictions about a story based on what they have already heard, read, or seen. This allows students to become actively involved in the reading process. It invokes more participation from students when they connect their prior knowledge to the new information being learned. It encourages readers to use critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Readers are given the opportunity to reflect and evaluate the text, thus extracting deeper meaning while requiring the use of comprehension skills. Let us see if you have been attentive in the discussion. Study the pictures and answer the given questions in one good sentence. Others may type their answer in the comment box below. What is most likely to happen? That's right! Most likely, the rat will run as fast as it could. Who will likely get hurt in this picture? You are correct. Most likely, the man will get hurt. What will the teacher do to the student? You are right again. The teacher will most likely wake the student up. Now that you have learned the definition and importance of predicting, Examine the steps on how to predict. In making a prediction, one must consider and pay close attention to available information such as titles and pictures and related experience. Review the front and back of a book, the title, table of contents, the chapter names, subheadings, and diagrams prior to reading. Make connections to the text using your prior knowledge or previous experiences. Create your prediction. 
make sure you have pieces of evidence to support your prediction or justify whether you are right or wrong. Why is predicting or making prediction in reading an important comprehension strategy? It is because making prediction helps students to First, choose texts they believe will interest them or that are appropriate for whatever their purpose is for reading. Second, set a purpose for reading before, during, and after reading. Third, actively read and interact with a text. Fourth, critically think about what they are reading. Fifth, monitor their own comprehension and clarify any misunderstanding while reading. Sixth, stay engaged in reading to find out their predictions are on track or if they need to be revised. Seventh, ask meaningful questions. Now, let us try how students can practice making predictions in reading. Growing readers can have a difficult time making predictions that are meaningful and logical. By modeling and practicing this reading strategy often, students learn to create strong predictions based on text evidence and background knowledge. Provide thinking stems. Giving students thinking stems is helpful to make using reading comprehension strategies more concrete. Offering thinking stems like I think and because is important in making predictions since they require students to have a clear reason to support their prediction. Some examples of thinking stem for fiction include I think blank will happen because blank. Next, I think the characters will blank because blank. I can predict that blank because blank. Since blank happened, I think blank. Based on clues from the story, my guess is blank. Some examples of thinking stem for non-fiction text include Based on the title, I think the text will be about blank. Based on the headings, subheadings, I think the text will be about blank. Because I know that blank, I predict that blank. Based on what I know about blank, my guess is blank. Now you have some stems to improve your expression better than before when you were not aware of them yet. Enjoy using the stems. It is now time to find out the answer to the question, How do readers make predictions? Good readers make predictions by thinking about what will happen next in the text. Readers use text evidence or clues from the story to make predictions. Before reading, Predictions can be made about what the story will be. During reading, you, as readers, constantly stop to make predictions about what will happen next with the characters and events in the story. After reading, you can now see if your predictions are correct or not. Let us apply what we have learned from the lesson. Momotaro is a story of a little boy 
who emerged from a little peach found by an old lady in the river. Once upon a time, an old woman went to the riverside to wash clothes. She then found a peach on the river. She took it home to show her husband. At home, she tried to cut the peach in half. But suddenly, a boy just came out. Now predict, what did they do with the boy? Awesome! Based on the clue in the story, they took care of the child as their own. They called him Momotaro. Fernandino teens, let us predict the next scene by arranging the pictures to complete the story of Momotaro. From the set of pictures shown, which is going to be the third picture as we predict the continuation of the story. It is the picture with that Momotaro grew up and became a powerful boy. Which is the next picture? Thumbs up for you, Fernandino teens! The one with the devils bothering the villagers. Which is the next picture? That is correct. It is the picture that shows, while on the way, another fighter. A dog joined him because Momotaro gave him dumplings. Then, a monkey and a bird also joined them on the way to the island. Next, they traveled to the Devil's Island to fight against the biggest devil. On the island, they saw many devils waiting for them. Then, they even met the biggest devil. The dog bit the devil's leg. The monkey scratched the back of the devil. The bird poked the devil in the eye. Together, they beat all the devils that followed. For the last part, can you guess what happened at the end of the story? That is great! The last one is the picture that shows they got all the treasures the devils had. The devils also promised not to bother the villagers again. They lived happily ever after. I hope you enjoyed the story of Momotaro. More interesting East Asian stories will be learned after the break. See you later, Fernandino teens! Maya po oras kaya kayo, Fernandinos. Ako pala ay Elwin Arl Serrano ng City Tourism Office ng Ciudad San Fernando. Ngayon yung bulan na ini, pag masusyantaya yung National Heritage Month, nating temang Victory and Humanity, Upholding Filipino Heritage and Identity. Kambay na nini, metong ka rin aktibidades na ng syudad, apin ng launching ng Bayong Heritage Passport. Ng Heritage Passport, apin ng metong ka rin proyekto ng kaya katamong syudad, ng pamina muna ng Mayor Edwin D. Santiago. Anong no ka rin makalagay lang ang dingega na ganang heritage sites, heritage structures, naakit tamo kin kay katamong heritage district. Ah, kaya daw din kini, ding importansya daw ding mapin na tradisyon, kini syudad, kalupa na ning pamangawang parol, ang po yung pamangalesa. May ahos siyang heritage passport, uling atin kang dapat gawan, anong no ka rin puntalan mo na ding at syukin passport, at saka ka mag-selfie, kay ba't kanta, palto may aking tourism office, at mamiyalang sticker ka rin ega na ganang apuntulan mong lugar. At di mong may ngari ang tutong passport. Balo ni Ngeni, panahon na ini, eh tamo makain bisa lumal, uli na ng COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya naman kimbanwa nga ini, agkatan ko lading bikers tamo, edad 18 hanggang 50, imbis na lumawot kayo po, di na nyo lang dita ka oras di kaya katamong heritage structures, kaya ni Syudad. 
Anya naman ka rin ng 50 bikers ang makayari kikikatamang heritage passport, may dinan lang premium only San Fernando loot bag. Ingawan nyo mo bakit ang makapag-register, munta kayo mismo opisina na ng City Tourism, yung munisipyo, at saka kayo magdalang metong valid ID. Kabihan ninyo kayo heritage passport, ating makasipit ang instruction nung nano pa yung dapat gawan. Anya naman ka rin hanggang kapadyak yan, nanano ko pa, tara na! Fernandino Sins TV Welcome back! You are still watching Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. I still have a lot more to share. Another story needs to be completed by predicting what comes next. The given pictures are the scenes from the story of Kaguya Hime. Let me read to you the scenes as the choices for the completion of the story. A. The next day, he found many gold coins in the bamboo plant. He and his wife took good care of the baby girl. They called her Kaguya Hime. B. Many princes wanted to marry her, but Kaguya Hime did not want to marry anyone. So, she gave them a very difficult task. Bringing the crystal stone from the dragon's chest. C. The bamboo cutter did not want Kaguya Hime to live. He asked samurais to protect her from the moon people. Letter D. Kaguya Hime liked the bamboo cutter and the people from the world so much. But Kaguya Hime belonged to the moon. She sometimes comes back to the world when it is the full moon. E. Kaguya Hime was not happy. She always looked at the full moon and felt sad. Now, I am going to show you the picture of the first scenario in the story. Listen carefully and think which among the choices is the answer. One day, an old bamboo cutter found a beautiful baby girl in a bamboo plant. He took her home. Based on the given pictures, what do you think will happen next? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. The next day, he found many gold coins in a bamboo plant. He and his wife took good care of the baby girl. They called her Kaguya Hime. To continue, Kaguya Hime grew up to be a gorgeous young woman. And then, what might happen next? Very clever! The correct answer is letter B. Many princes wanted to marry her, but Kaguya Hime did not want to marry anyone. So she gave them a very difficult task, bringing the crystal stone from the dragon's chest. But still, the princess fought very hard with the dragon, but they could not get the crystal stone. What do you think will be the continuation? Yes, that is true. The correct answer is letter E. Kaguya Hime was unhappy. 
she always looked at the full moon and felt sad. And so, one day, Kaguya Hime told the bamboo cutter that she came from the moon and the moon people will soon come to pick her up. What will happen after that? Very good! The bamboo cutter did not want Kaguya Hime to leave. He asked Samurai to protect her from the moon people. To continue, on the night of the full moon, the moon people came. They took Kaguya Hime back to the moon. The Samurai could not do anything. How did the story end? Correct! Kaguya Hime liked the bamboo cutter and the people from the world so much. But Kaguya Hime belonged to the moon. She sometimes comes back to the world when it is the full moon. That is another way to practice predicting. This time, let us try to predict the gist or main point of the pictures you are about to view. In Filipino weddings, what common Philippine wedding tradition is practiced in pictures 1 to 5? In some provinces in the Philippines, they still practice this tradition at weddings. What wedding tradition is depicted in the picture? Very clever, Ferdinandino teens! This is the money dance during the reception. This is a visit to the family of a woman. What wedding tradition is depicted in the picture? Correct! This is Pamamanhikan. It is a Filipino custom where a man, together with his family, pay respect to the family of the intended bride to ask for formal blessing. What is this picture about? That is right. It is about the releasing of the doves which symbolizes prosperity and peace. What does this picture show? Wonderful! It shows a woman in her white wedding gown. What happened in this picture? Fantastic! They just got married. Now you know that making predictions is a basic reading skill that requires higher level thinking. To make a good prediction, readers must consider available information and make an inference. Making inferences is a comprehension strategy used by proficient readers to read between the lines, make connections, and draw conclusions about the text's meaning and purpose. Allow me to read the following passages. Determine what event is likely to occur next. Explain your answer using textual evidence. Remember to study for the test tomorrow, Ms. Bada said before dismissing her class. Bio wrote the assignment in her notebook, but when she got home, she just wanted a break from school, so she watched TV. A couple of hours later, Bio knew that it was time to get to work, but first she would check her email. After another hour on the internet, Biol noticed that it was getting late. She opened the textbook and began looking for the chapter. 
Then, her friend Bon Hua called. Hyun Jung and Hyun A had broken up. Biol could not believe it. She and Yun Jung talked about it for another hour. Now, it was late and Biol was tired. She hung up with Biol and turned to the chapter on rock formations on her science book. She began reading it. Her head felt a little woozy, wobbly, and then... What event is most likely to occur next? That is correct. She goes to sleep without studying for the test. State two pieces of evidence from the text that will support your prediction. Yes, you're right. It was late and Biol was tired. Her head felt a little woozy and wobbly. Here is another passage to predict the outcome. Are you ready for Nandito teens? Jungkook waved to the crowd one more time before he put on his motorcycle helmet. The crowd cheered noisily. Jungkook looked down the ramp and across the 17 school buses that he was about to attempt to jump. It was a difficult trick and everything will need to go right for him to nail it. His cape blew in the wind. As Jungkook hopped on his motorcycle and started down the ramp, he noticed something that he had not seen before. There was a large oil slick at the end of the ramp. He attempted to stop the bike, but it was too late. He had already built up too much momentum, and so... What event is most likely to occur next? That is true! Most likely, he will meet an accident. State three possible feelings that Jungkook will feel after the incident. All your answers are correct. Most likely, he would feel uneasy, shocked, and relieved because he survived the exhibition. Coronavirus disease is an infectious disease caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Most people who fall sick with COVID-19 will experience a mild to moderate symptoms and recover without special treatment. However, some will become seriously ill and require medical attention. The virus can spread from an infected person's mouth or nose in small liquid particles when they cough, sneeze, speak, sing, or breathe. These particles range from larger respiratory droplets to smaller aerosols. You can be infected by breathing in the virus if. What could likely happen next? Yes, that is correct. You can be infected if you are near someone who has COVID-19 or if you touch a contaminated surface and then you touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. I hope you enjoyed the activities, Fernandino Teens. More is about to unfold when Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 returns. Lamang sa larangan ng pangkabuhayan apektado ang maraming pamilyang Pilipino, kundi maging sa larangan ng pagkatuto ng bawat batang Pilipino. Inilunsad ng siyudad ng San Fernando ang programa Nurturing Environment and System for Thriving or NEST 
isang education community pantry na naglalayon para sa isang mahalawakang pagtulong, pagantabay at paggabay na ang focus ay ang makapagbigay ng tulong at suporta sa ating mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng educational needs gaya na lamang ng school supplies, tutorial sessions, study tips, at iba pang pa mga pamamaraan na mas lalong makatutulong sa pag-angat ng ating edukasyon. Dahil hindi hadlang ang pandemya sa magandang kinabukasang naghihintay sa ating mga mag-aaral. Sino-sino nga ba ang mga kalahok sa programang ito? Sa pagtutulungan ng ating school administrators, guro, magulang, at iba pang mga miyembro ng ating komunidad gaya ng barangay officials at sangguniang kabataan ay siguradong magiging mas matagumpay ang programang ito. Paano nga ba ang magiging proseso ng naturang programa? Una, magkakaroon tayo ng isang Facebook group, ang Pampanga High School Nest Education Community Pantry na pangungunahan ng Educational Pantry Coordinator. Ang mga magulang, tagapangalaga at mga guro ay ia-add ng ating Educational Pantry members sa Facebook group na ito. Sa page na ito, maaaring i-post ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga o sino mang miyembro ng Educational Pantry ang kanilang mga kahilingan o requests. Kailangan ding ilagay ang pangalan ng mag-aaral, grade at section para sa mas agarang aksyon. Oo nga pala, hindi lang requests ang pwedeng i-post. Pwede rin mag-post ang mga nais magbigay ng tulong o mga gustong mag-donate. Sabi nga nila, sharing is caring. Tandaan na ang Facebook group na ito ay privado at posts na may kaugnayan lamang sa page na ito ang maaaprobahan. Mayroon din palang Google Form na ipamamahagi kung saan maaari nating isumite ang ating requests o kahilingan. Paano naman ang mga walang internet access sa bahay? Huwag mangamba dahil merong mga nakalaang drop boxes ang ating paaralan na kung saan maaaring ihulog ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang kanilang requests. Sa mga nais namang mag-donate ng school supplies, maaaring ilagay ang mga ito sa tabi ng drop boxes. Maaari ring mag-donate ng mga kagamitan o cash donation kaakibat ang pagsusumite ng deed of donation form. Pangalawa, mahalaga ang ugnayan ng mga guro at ng mga magulang o tagapangalaga sa programang ito. Gamit ang video calls o chats ay ipahahayag ng mga guro ang adhikain ng programang ito sa mga magulang o tagapangalaga. Maaari ring gawin ang orientation na ito ng face-to-face -face, kasabay ng schedule ng kuhanan ng mga module. Gaya ng nabanggit, hindi lamang mga bagay ang maaaring i-donate. Pwede ring mag-conduct ng tutorial session, study tips, at iba pang mga kagamitan sa pagkatuto gayat ng mga aklat o kaya ay gadgets. Ikatlo, ang requested needs ng ating mga magulang o tagapangalaga ay ililista ng ating nest focal person. Ang mga coordinator naman ang mag-aayos ng mga ito. Ang advisors ng ating mga mag-aaral, guidance counselor, at iba pang mga guro ay ipaaalam sa ating mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang petsa at oras ng pamimigay ng requested needs na gaganapin sa paaralan. Sabi nga nila, it takes a village to raise a child, kaya naman aktibo at iba yung pakikilahok ang inaasahan sa pagsasanib puwersa ng paaralan at barangay na siyang tutukoy sa pangangailangan ng bawat Fernandinong mag-aaral at kikilos upang matugunan ito sa tulong at suporta rin ng mga miyembro ng komunidad. Isang malawakang komunidad para sa isang produktibong educational community pantry ay tiyak na lilikha ng iba yung pagkilos upang maging mas magaan at madali ang pagkatuto ng bawat kabataang Fernandino. Kaya naman tandaan, 
magbigay ayon sa kakayahan, kumuha ayon sa pangangailangan. Fernandino Tint TV Welcome back! You're still watching Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. I know you enjoyed today's lesson about predicting outcomes. Before I give you another activity, let us have a short recap of what has transpired in today's episode. Let us have a simple recall. You may type your ideas on the comment box provided. Ready? Please type T if you think the statement is true and F if false. Predicting outcomes is the ability to predict what will happen next based on two things. The clues given in the picture or story and what you already know. The correct answer is T. We tend to say something based on the pieces of evidences we already know. That was great! How about the next one? Predicting outcomes is a valuable strategy in reading comprehension. You are again correct! Learning how to predict outcomes deepen our reading comprehension skills. Do you have any idea why is that so? Hey, someone just said, because it encourages me to think actively. Such a great answer. Can anyone share his or her idea why predicting outcomes deepen reading comprehension skills? Thank you. Here's another answer. It encourages me to think actively and ask questions. See, there is more to develop when we learn how to predict outcomes. My next question is, is making a prediction like making a guess? Again, it is T. Just like hypothesis, a prediction is a type of guess. However, a prediction is an estimate made from observations. You are doing well, Fernandino teens! I have one more question to ask. Here is it. Predicting outcomes is simply saying what I want to say. Yes, you are right. It is F. Even if you may have your own interpretation, you still must consider the clues given. This time, help me think what will happen next. She is texting while walking. She might fall. She might win in the raffle. She will be happy. Yes, the answer is letter A. She might fall. Next. My friend is sick. She will go to the doctor. She will go to the policeman. She will go to the teacher. You are again correct. As a sick person would go to the doctor to be cured. Let us try this one. I will give a scenario and tell me what will be next. 
the students are excited to have face-to-face -face classes. Before this day comes, they already plan of going to different places that they have missed since the pandemic began. They said they will dine and stroll around as they wish. Invite as many friends and classmates. What might happen two weeks after the class starts? A lot of possible answers can be given. Please give your explanation why you said so. Type your answers on the comment box. Let me read your answers. One said, They will lock allowance for the succeeding week since they will eat and visit different places. That is a great idea. Who was another? They might catch COVID-19 since they will share food. C. Learning to predict outcomes seems to be natural in you. You are absolutely great. But please do not forget that we still need to follow safety health protocols. Here is another good answer. I think... I will make new friends since I am excited about my new classmates. Wow! It is really something to look forward to. Can I have one last answer, please? Aha! Uh -huh, this one. I think I will value my studies more since I found it hard to study at home since the pandemic. This is such a heartwarming answer. Please do value your studies more. Fernandino Tins, this time I will show you a picture and tell me what might happen next. Can you share your answers now? This answer is clever. Someone might get hurt after the caps fall. Great! Can I have one another answer, please? The graduates will look for job. Yes, surely they will hunt for work for several years of study. Another one, please. They will take the board examination. Of course, to be called a real professional, you must pass your board examination first. That is great! More and more Fernandino teens keep on typing their answers. With that, I appreciate how well you interacted with me. Again, please keep these simple words of mine regarding predictions. If you do not predict outcomes, you will not get better at making predictions and decisions based on the data collected. Predict in ranges and confidence levels instead of exact numbers. Make predictions public to hold yourself accountable. These are the references that were used for this episode. This has been a great pleasure to be with you today, Fernandino Teens. Once again, this is Ma'am Ivy Dison. Until the next episode. Ah, ganun pala yun. Nawala na ang pangamba ko kahit na hindi ko alam ang mga mangyayari sa paligid dahil sa ibinahagi ni Ma'am Ivy. Tama ka dyan, Nan. At naibahagi din sa atin ni Ma'am ang iba't ibang paraan sa paghihinuhan ng mga bagay-bagay. Ang dami na naman nating natutuhan sa araw na ito. Kaya naman, Maraming salamat, ma'am! Isa na namang makabuluhang talakayan ng ating natunghayan, Fernandino Deeds. Pagkita-kita tayo muli sa susunod na episode na Fernandino Deeds TV Season 2
kung saan ang kabataang Fernandino ay angat sa angking talino. Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin, hindi laging nandyan Dapat mong harapin kami iyong kasama Sa bawat takin, magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ng wasto at nararapat Kaganda 